to show you um, what I ordered, the wigs that I ordered from Hairwig, HairwigHarlem.com. Um, as you can see, I am rocking my The Kiss and Makeup earrings, the uh, Basketball Wives inspired earrings, because I had to have on some earrings to go with the wig. I do have on my robe because after this, I am starving. I just got off work, came home, took a shower, then I need to put together this video so I can show you guys what I got. Cause no, I sent out a tweet um, today, because um, I videotaped me opening the package and all that kind of stuff. So I had to show you guys and excuse the hair. Like I said, it's raining here, and I had my hair up in a ponytail. I just took it down so I could put this wig on. So, so not done. I don't normally walk around looking like this, but I'm at home and I'm with y'all, and y'all like family, so I really don't care. So, first wig that we're gonna sh talk about is Prada. Prada is, um, get the thing, by Bishi. <clears throat> and this is what she's supposed to look like. We're going to do some stuff about that. We're not going to wear her like this. This isn't cute. Not, I mean, not for me. Doesn't work for me. She is a um, human hair wig. It's part of the Bishi uh, premium collection. I got her in a 1B. <clears throat> And she was $28.99. So, first thing, this is on my little Mary. This is what she looks like. And it's just like a natural curl cut into like a um, bob style with some layering. And it's got a longer front. Now, not cute. So, human hair, curly hair. First thing we're going to do is we're going to spray her dang on. So I just got regular water here, and I'm just going to spray her down. And as I spray her down, I'm going to make sure the water gets all the way through because she is thick. And I didn't feel like doing this on my head because I actually do not have a wig cap. Um, I don't know where all my wig caps are. What you could do, or what I probably should do, was just like wash her. Um, <clears throat> I might do that later, but like I said, I just really wanted to show you guys her. All right, it's pretty much detangled. This is it now. And you can see, I don't know if you can really see the curl pattern, but it's a really loose spiral. Pretty curls. And just to describe this wig, it doesn't have any combs in it. And it's got the drawstring, I mean not the drawstring, but the adjustable straps in the back. I'm going to take my quick curls and do a little at a time. And I'm just smoothing it through. to tame the curls so that they separate like that. Just as if I would do if I was shingling my own hair. Okay. I'm just gonna go all the way around. In big sections.
So all I'm going to do, I'm going to let it air dry so that it doesn't get frizzy and it'll stay just like this. You could use a, um, a blow dryer and use a diffuser, but I'm just, I'm tired and I don't feel like it. But this is it and it is really pretty. You guys, I love, love, love this wig. It's short, it's cute, it's something different. I love the curliness, and then as it dries, I may poof it up some more, but I don't want it to be too big, so I want it to dry <clears throat> kind of flat like this. And I'm gonna wear it, I'm like, you know, just separate a couple curls in the front. You could pull out some of your hair in the front and then pull, you know, part of it back. Or pin it back or something like that, but I don't. I don't feel like pulling my hair out. <clears throat> but I really, really think it's pretty. I've seen you know, a couple people that just sprayed it down, so I knew it was going to curl up. But I also knew, with having natural hair, that putting the right product on the curls would, you know, really make it pop. Cause it didn't quite look like this when anybody else did it. Not that I saw it was kind of still poofy and all that kind of stuff. This one piece of hair is going to drive me crazy. But it was still kind of frizzy, kind of poofy. So you just have to know the right products to put on hair. <clears throat> Even though it's not your hair, it's still hair. But I think it's super cute. And it's so different. I don't have anything like this. And it's good for those bad hair days. <clears throat> and hopefully you can see the back well. I don't even know what the back looks like. I'm hoping the back's okay. Um, it has like a little taper at the bottom. So I would try to keep that part pulled in or whatever. But, yep, this is it. So this is Prada. And it's like once it dries, I will go ahead and kind of fluff it and style it and pull the curls where I want them to be. And then I'll take pictures and show you guys. Because I'm going to have it, you know, in an actual shape. I'm not even going to, I'm not going to cut this one. I'm just going to leave it be and kind of move the curls around as I want them. You guys go over to hairwigholum.com and check her out. This is such a cute, such a cute style. Oh my goodness. So, like I said, go over to hairwigharlem.com, hairwigharlem.com, and um, I'm going to put up some pictures after this to show you guys the finished product. After it dries, I'll take some pictures. See you later. Bye.